So I've got my, I have my plow for my 220. This is what's a 54 inch blade. It doesn't directly bolt onto this chassis and the brackets don't line up. So I drew up a CAD drawing. Just took some measurements off of the plow and then have it come back into that plate back there. And this from the year, and then I sent it to my buddy's plasma cutter. And so I've got that cut out now. So there's a plasma cut piece, and I got two of these. And then the, uh, so that's gonna get pinned on the front, welded in the rear onto that uh, plate for that holds the, uh, the belt drive. And then up front, so I have the uh, through shaft hole. So I got this three quarter inch bar, which will get sent through these plates. And I'll take this plate off here. So I've got two of these. That's going to get put on there. And then I've got these uh, locking colors and I'll weld that collar on there to both have some strength and stiffness and else it's gonna hold the bar. And then I'll be able to get the uh, track on. I also ordered some, I need to make my lift shaft. I got some bushings to pull this thing. Maybe meant to get that out, but I got some shafts and bushings to transfer this uh, from the hydraulic lift. So yeah, I think this can get started welding this all up. So I got my frame made it welded up and then I end up having to not be able to use these bars these are brackets because one is long the other this is where it's playing on the, the plate going and it was way over here so it didn't make contact so not using those I just took some angle iron so this uh pin goes in the main the hole up here and then these go into the holes where those brackets went into. And I got the shaft going through, which the plow was down on. And I did put some grease fittings in that so that it won't seize up. So I'm gonna put that on now. So I've got the bracket and the push for lift lever all made up. All right. I'm not sure I saw this previous thing, but I got these shaft collars that clamp the uh, shaft in place. And then there's grease fittings I drilled into this so it actually had lubrication like it didn't have when it was factory. Fits on there pretty good. It goes bolts onto the uh, factory frame rail holes. And I had to make a new lift arm for it. Yeah. 